Hey guys, Linus Rizika coming to you from LinusRizika.com and thanks for stopping by this quick tutorial video here on how to add a popover or uh, fade in form to your blog site. Uh, this cool little tool that I've actually added into my blog just last week is getting really good results right now, about a 7% conversion uh, on that and uh, a little bit more kind of split testing and, and tweaking I need to do but I've had quite a few people come by and ask me on how the heck I got it on my site, if it was something custom, if I paid for, uh, something like that. No, it's nothing that I've paid for. It's nothing that I've had done extra. It's a simple uh, few-step action piece that you have that you can have access to inside of Aweber, which is what I use for my autoresponder. So all you do is, first things first, you know, you got to have your own little list built already. So uh, I've got my own list. Uh, it's just called the Linus Newsletter. And once you get your list created and everything, create all the global fields and all that stuff, you just come in here over to web forms. Okay. And since I've already created one, I'm going to show you how I've done it. Okay. Wait for it to load. And here's a quick uh, picture of it. Okay. This is what the form looks like. If you've been to my blog, you've seen it. Uh, basically, it's just uh, uh, the title quick little uh, few sentence key points of what they're going to get when they sign up for the newsletter and a quick graphic that I've placed at the bottom that I had custom done from one of my good friends Mr. Barry Montero so um, awesome graphics there Barry appreciate the help all you do is uh, first off you got to select a template okay and all I've done is I think it's inside of popular here is where I found it yep there we go uh, the pointer template Okay, so you just select that. I, I thought it was kind of cool because it matches the color on my blog really well, and uh, so I just went with that. So all I've done is just uh, you know put in the text and everything, the form, and I actually got rid of the little bottom arrow there. So if I was to create a brand new one here, you're going to have both arrows in it. Um, you can actually go in and delete whichever ones you want. Uh, I got rid of the bottom one and put on my own custom graphic in there from Barry. And what you do then is make sure you have. Um, you know, there's a lot of different options here, but the first one you want to have selected is form type, because that's going to basically tell you uh, which kind of form you're going to have. Now, inline form, that's just a, a typical static form that you're going to find on anybody's lead capture page. You know, name, email, phone number, typical stuff there. Pop up, I don't select that at all. That's that's your pop up that's going to get blocked. So many people have block pop up blockers on the websites now. It's pointless to even have it. You're going to put in the work, and you're not going to get any return on it. Lightbox, that is going to be this same form here. It's going to pop up on the page, but everything else behind it is going to be kind of black. It's going to shadow it out a little bit, so it's going to dim the background and just make the, the lead capture form stand out. So it's going to highlight it, really. And then the popover keeps everything uh, open, ready to go, hovers right in the middle of the web page, and it says here, it's usually unblockable. So I go with popover. That's what I've been working with for the last week on this. Haven't had any issues with it yet, so that's why I keep it that way. Okay. Um, the next thing you want to do is go down here to advanced. Okay. See how when you click that little advanced tab right there, it opens up. You want to have uh, a couple different things set here. Now there's a display options, which is there's a default, which is just your typical fade in. Uh, that that's all the default is going to be. It'll slide in. There's one that you can have the option of sliding in from the top, sliding in from the bottom, which obviously I have selected, and then slide in from the left or slide in from the right. Okay. You want to have a timer set as to how much of a delay you want between when the visitor gets to your site and the page is loaded, and then when that form actually shows up on the site. So I've got it. You know, most people don't uh, sit on a website for very long, so I have it set pretty early. Now. If there's content that they're reading and they want to get something out of it, of course, they're going to be on there, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds. Well, I want them to make sure that they see my form. So I'm going to have it show up at the 11 second mark. And then this is an area that I've been toying around with over the last week. And from my recollection and from what I've able to, been in, to, to be able to understand is that if you select display once, there's only three options. If you select display once, it's only going to show up one time. So if you have a visitor that comes to your blog, it's going to show up the very first time, but it's not going to show up at any other point in time after that. 
when they come back and, and revisit it, which they will as long as you're putting great content out there. Uh, always display is something that I will probably select with next, and uh, I'll, I'll toy around and do a little bit of testing with that. But I'm, in fact, I'll just go ahead and select always display so you can even see it here when we do the test. And the, only the third option is, is you can set the number of days that you want it to display. So, you know, like every two or three days, have it set so when somebody comes back every two or three days, they're going to see that same form again. Okay. Um, I'll just select always display so you can see what it looks like when it actually comes up. Okay. Because we're going to go to my blog here in a second. So we just uh, close that up. Make sure you select uh, save web form down at the bottom it'll save it. Uh, you go to your settings tab and I select a thank you page which is a custom one. Uh, I've built my own welcome page. It's, it's just uh, text and video. It's, it's not me. It's not me sitting there talking or anything like that. Uh, it's, it's just my voice and then uh, a simple PowerPoint presentation which is getting good returns right now. And then uh, for people that have already subscribed to the newsletter, uh, it's going to send them to the custom page which is just back to my blog. Okay. There's no sense for them to go, to go and see the welcome page again if they've already come in and subscribed. And then just uh, hit save again. And the last thing to do is publish. So you click the publish tab. Uh, go to I will install my form. And here is the code that you want to get. So you just simply highlight it. Once you click in, it, it'll highlight and just hit control C to copy. And I go to over here to my WordPress blog. Okay, and I've already opened it up here. The area you want to go to is uh, the appearance tab. And then go down to editor. And that's going to show you uh, a whole snippet of code. Okay, and there's all these different code templates here. The place that I have it right now is inside of the header. Okay, so you just select header. And I scroll down to the bottom here. and just find a, a section here almost at the bottom within the code uh, here, here's the code itself Okay, just post that in there hit update file and there you go that's how it gets saved Okay, so when we go to my blog here what we can do is refresh this and see if we can get the little pop-up form to, to come up for you so it refreshes here. And I'll wait a little bit to see if it will come up here since remember we put the, the setting at 11 seconds. So technically at 11 seconds it should show up here. And it, it may not. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, so it slid up from the bottom. And there it is. Right in the middle of the page. Just like you want it. So, uh, like I said, I've been getting good returns on it. Um, if for some reason somebody you know has already signed up for it or they want to close it and it annoys them, you know, they just hit the little X right here, okay, and that'll close the window. Notice that the background is not blackened out, okay, so people can still see the blog page. They can still think that they're on my blog. They'll know that they're on my blog, and all they simply do is just fill out the form, and we're off the town, off and running. So, I'm getting really good conversions on it, like I said. Um, do testing with it. Do split testing. You know, that's important for, for people that are network marketing to split test your stuff. And that's something I'll probably be doing here uh, over a period of time. So, that's how you, you set up a popover form for your blog. I welcome you guys to add one to your blog and uh, start generating some more leads and some more uh, people into your business because of it. So. There you go. That's simply how it's done. You don't have to pay for it. It's all free. Part of your autoresponder already with AWeber, and you should be off and running. So hopefully you guys have a great afternoon. Again, my name is Linus Rizika from LinusRizika.com, and I will see you guys again soon. Take care.